Yeah, racing out of the final fence, it's Sivron from Wardlestown and Goldline, who have both come under pressure to close the gap, and then returned, and hey, hey, Black Vinny, and let's celebrate, but it's Sivron out in front with one fence left to go. Sivron and James Carroll in the colours of John Nallen come to the final fence. Sivron, four, five lengths clear, and over it extremely well. Mortalstown's a faller, battle on for minor money, but Sivron... And James Carroll, Sivron will make an impressive winning debut. He's right down for James Carroll. John Nallen, the trainer, second return. Go line third, and it's close for fourth and fifth. And again, John wants more. And again, John. Well done, lads. Thanks. Well done. Well done. Often racing in the opening golfs for your maiden race and Manila Online is one of the first to show. Matoris over on the near side with Strode Nahana is also right up there too. And they're being followed on the run towards the first two fences which come up pretty quickly here by High Hatton. But Strode Nahana just about in the center, Matoris. Manila Online close behind them. Vineron took a chance at the back. Heisenberg is also close to the pace as they go quickly on now towards fence number two where Strode Nahana was the one that took a chance, but all safely over two, and they've time to settle into racing order now. Berg is just improving around the outside now to take over the lead and has put a real injection of speed into the race as they round their way towards the fence number three. So it's Heisenberg who's gone on by four to five lengths from Strode Nahana in second, Matoris is third, Manella Online is on the inside of Skipper Beat Kid, and they're being followed close in behind by Virtual Dudon. Further back behind this one is Lucky Sovereign. And then towards the inside is High Hatton. In between this group is Mental Strength. The early back marker is Vigneron. So they head now to make their way on towards fence number four. And it's Heisenberg who brings them along three to four clear from Skip a Beat Kid in second. Then on the outside, Mental Strength races pretty keenly in the early part of the race. Strode Nahana is next and further back to Matoris. They're being followed back in the field by Virtual Dudon. And just in behind this one is Lucky Sovereign. Back in the field, High Hatton, and then Manella online, who was almost leading over the first. Now just as one behind, and that's Vigneron. So they head now towards fence number five, and another new leader, Skip a Beat Kid, leads mental strength. They're being chased, and Vigneron, another chance at that one. It's not the first mistake he's made as they go to pass the post. Still two circuits and ten fences ahead of them, and then Skip a Beat Kid on the inside, being followed by mental strength and Jason McKeown. Just in behind them is Heisenberg and Mark Lynch. Then comes Motorist Larry Murphy, and they're being followed by Strode Nahana, who's next the grey, as they've completed their first circuit. Virtual Dudon is on the outside, Lucky Sovereign and Mikey O'Connor in the yellow jacket on the ice side of High Hatton. In between them, Manella Online and Corky Carroll, and three lengths further back to the back marker, which is Vineron. So they head off on their second circuit now, on towards fences six and seven, and up front, Skip a beat kid with mental strength on the outside. Matoris hit that very hard as they head to make their way on towards fence seven, and up front, Skip a beat kid who ran well at Lingstown last time finishing second on his debut being chased in second by mental strength the debutant next up behind this one Manella online and Shrodna Hanna High Hatton is next with Wiener on and the early leader Heisenberg just struggles at the back of the field so they begin now to take the turn down along the side of the track and on towards fence number eight. Skip a beat kid leads from mental strength, being chased in third spot by Lucky Sovereign, who's got a lot closer now. Matoris races in four. They're being followed in fifth by Virtual Dudon. Then comes Strode Nahan on the outside of Manella online. And then further back, High Hatton. And they're being followed by Vineron and a long break to Heisenberg, who looks as though he's about to be pulled up. In fact, halfway the early leader. Heisenberg's out of the race. Heading now towards seven for the finish. Skip a beat kid lands in front from mental strength in second. Matoris got in tight and third. Lucky Sovereign disputes that spot. Manella Online's creeping his way back on terms. High Hatton's down the inside of Virtual Dudon and they're being followed by Strode Nahana. Vigneron is the back marker. Straightening up now. 
A tightly bunched field make their way on towards the fence, which will be the last next time in the opening goffs for your old maiden race. And in front, it's Skipper Beat Kid Matoras, mental strength on the outside, being followed by Lucky Sovereign. And he's gone, Lucky Sovereign has gone at that one, he's right on terms. Lucky Sovereign, the faller with six to jump as they turn now horse and rider up and away, turning now to make their way out the country the final time. Five to jump, and it's still Skipper Beat Kid, who has mental strength in second. Matoros is back in third, and then Manila online on the outside of High Hat, and Strodnahan is next. Vertuel Dudon is next, and then a break to Wiener on as they head to make their way along the side of the track now. Five to jump, and in front, it is Skipper Beat Kid, who has the advantage to mental strength. Matoros racing in third. High Hatton travels very strongly down the inside. Manila online is just tra tracking this group, and they go on a couple of lengths from Vertuel Dudon as they clear that one and make their way on towards the next. Vineron was pulled up there with five to jump. Four from the finish. Skipper Beat Kid is going to really put it up to them in front. From in second spot, Matoros, who took a chance. A best, bad mistake at the back by Strodnahana, who's backpedaling in any case there with them in third. I Hatton is fourth and then comes a ridden along mental strength. Virtual Dudon has been ridden along. Strodnahan is trying to stay on back into it. Turning now down along the side of the track with three to go. Skipper Beat Kid leads Matoras being followed on the outside by Manila online. Right behind them High Hatton's there with every chance and they go away from Virtual Dudon. Heading now to make their way towards the third last and on the inside High Hatton comes to join the more experienced Matoras and Skipper Beat Kid. They've both got the place for him and now it's Matoras who begins to open up two to three lengths back in second skipper beat kid is battling with high hatton and then comes manella online heading to the second last it's matoras over in front from in second high hatton and they're being followed by skipper beat kid as they make their way towards the home run one to jump and matoras has gone half a dozen clear high hatton can't go with them manella online staying on from the back again then comes skipper beat kid but straightening up and on their way towards the final fence in the opening for your maiden race and it's matoras who's out in front coming to it staying on manella online but matoras is over in in front, Manila on line second, and up towards the line is going to be yet another Jiggenstown four year. This time it's Matoris and Larry Murphy on board for Pat Doyle back in second, and it's going to be Manila on line. Third will go to High Hat. The next night in Vienna could be the last night for Trapatoni. Anyway, white flag raised here, and that's it, the rough and racing. So, Division Two of the Hurley Super Value sponsored four year old Gatlings Maiden. Your two to one favourite is Titan's Approach and the field head into the bend, bringing him towards the back straight and the first of 15 fences at a dawdle in the early stages. Manila Scamp is up there prominent in company with Hot Whiskey and Ice. And then you've got uh, Full Throttle, who in turn is followed down the inside by uh, Titan's Approach and away in Milan. Back then to about the fifth spot to find Killineer. And Kilinir and then in turn is followed by one night in Vienna. And the two put to sleep out the back door are Truckers Highway and Burgess Dream. So at the first fence, and all take it nice and safely. So it's Manila Scamp who shares the lead all the time in the first quarter mile or so of the contest with hot whiskey and ice, then Titans approach and away in Milan, Kilinir in turn is followed then by Full Trottle and then Burgess Dream is towards the back with uh, Truckers Highway and just ahead of them is One Night in Vienna. This is a race where we have a strong representation from County Wexford. Ten runners and five of them are trained in Wexford in this contest. 50% chance of a Wexford winner I suppose theoretically. Let's see how it works out in reality but it's one of the Non-Wexford horses, Manila Scamp, trained on the Kilkenny Tipperary borders up there, sharing the lead with hot whiskey and ice as they come off this bend and towards the third. Titans approach. The local horse in the race is not too far away in third position. And then in fourth on the outside, in the O'Keefe colours is full throttle, followed in fifth place by away in Milan and then Killineer. Down out to number four. And Hot Whiskey and Ice, third up at uh, Torilla. Last time out, comes here the most experienced runner in the pack with two runs under his belt. He's out there in the lead now. Hot Whiskey and Ice, Harley Dunn. Comes to this fifth fence, just ahead of Corky Carl aboard Minna Scamp. And they in turn are followed down the inside by Titan's Approach and then away in Milan. In turn, followed by One Night in Vienna, and then Full Throttle, Killineer, Truckers Highway, Burgess Dream. 
as they now go to race into this bend and the field wind out on their way towards the next one Manila Scamp continues just alongside Hot Whiskey and Ice as they go to this one Hot Whiskey and Ice, Manila Scamp followed by Away Milan, Titans Approach nice and neat there in midfield was One Night in Vienna and then Killineer followed by Full Trottle and the two back markers are Burgess Dream and Truckers Highway over the next one they move and again all have jumped that one safely so seven fences down eight more to take Manila Scamp on the inside leads in this four-year-old Geldings Maiden the highest rated four-year-old on ratings from last season came out of one of these two divisions unfortunately he hasn't won in England to date but we had good quality racing here last year in the four-year-old races and we've already seen one good quality four-year-old in the first and as this race unfolds, coming from last to first now to lead is Truckers Highway. So Coleman Sweeney has decided there was no great pace on here and he wants to shake up things. And Truckers Highway has come up now alongside Manila Scamp. Hot Whiskey and Ice and Titans Approach as they go down now to number eight at this one. And Truckers Highway, Hot Whiskey and Ice, Manila Scamp, Titans Approach, away in Milan, in turn followed by One Night in Vienna as they take this fence then full throttles lost a few positions Killineer remains towards the tail of the field the back marker at the moment is Burgess Dream they've got six to jump as they go to the end of the second mile and keen to get on with it is Truckers Highway and the pink silks on the outside of Hot Whiskey and Ice and then Manila Scamp down the inside after these you've got uh, Away in Milan Titan's Approach sits quietly in fifth on the inside of uh, One Night in Vienna and then Full Throttle, the two back markers, remain Killineer and finally Burgess Dream is a dozen off the pace. So way out they go then for the final time and it's Manila Scamp, Truckers Highway, sandwiched between horses there is Hot Whiskey and Ice and then away in Milan and Titan's Approach and One Night in Vienna. Full Trottle and Killineer Burgess Dream has dropped out and will be pulled up before the fifth last. So down they come to this next one. And as they take off at this fence, Hot Whiskey and Ice, just alongside Manila Scamp. And then away in Milan, in turn, is followed by One Night in Vienna. And still wide of all is uh, Truckers Highway. So over this next fence they go. And that's Manila Scamp alongside Hot Whiskey and Ice. They're being followed by Titan's Approach. And then away in Milan, as they go now into the bend, bringing them away out of the back straight then for the final time. And they continue to stack up in behind the leaders who are Hot Whiskey and Ice. Hot Whiskey and Ice is up there all the time with Manila Scamp. So as they come racing across the side, and it's Hot Whiskey and Ice, Manila Scamp, Titans Approach, followed then by away in Milan who appears now just to be losing its position. So as they come up the home straight, Manila Scamp heads towards the third last. In the lead is Manila Scamp as they come towards it from Titans Approach, who's coming there with a good-looking challenge on the inside. And as they jump this one, Titans Approach comes up to join Manila Scamp, and they go on then from Hot Whiskey and Ice. And after these, then one night in Vienna, and then Killineer. And as they come over the second last, Manila Scamp goes on again on the flat to lead from one night in Vienna and Titans Approach. But as they head down at the last, and it's uh, Manila Scamp, Titans Approach is rallying and there's a link between them as they arrive at the final fence they go on for one night in Milan and uh, Killineer and at the last is Manila Scamp just holding on here as they go into the last hundred yards Manila Scamp given the office now goes on by two lengths from Titans Approach and as they go to the finish Manila Scamp is just clinging on to the lead and Manila Scamp another winner for the Nallans at Inch gets home from in second Titans Approach Hot Whiskey uh, after these it was away in Milan was the uh, Doyle horse who ran on having lost his place for a third and Killineer followed by Hot Whiskey and Ice and then one night in Vienna and they were clear from full throttle. The third race, the five-year-old Geldings Maiden, sponsored by East Cork Oil. This race is divided. In the first
lining up half and racing in the second division of this opening cost sponsored four year old maiden and the 13 owners make their way on towards the first 13 fences and as they do so up on the old storm is your first to show on packing packing of course the placement for damien skeen so it's come to this first and it's old storm it was up and over from the last one they're presenting article was the faller the first Presenting Arthur was the follower first. We might just need a doctor. Assistance Willie Thompson is still lying on the ground. We need a doctor there to the first fence. So continue on a super lunar who shows away from Indigo Island. They're followed next by Old Storm with his that it's own. They're followed from the man from Manila. They're followed next to the field by Inner Blue Dust. Oh wait. The next behind these is a gunner Brady with Clan Lar Diabio. They're followed by Graham Messenger with Jay Peck. And Captain Carlton and early back mark the field is Colin View. As the 12 runners continue to 12 to remain, continue the way uphill and into the home straight for the first of three times, make the way up towards the next fence. If we don't be fence number three, and a super lunar and Kevin Power who leads the way now from Indigo Island and Old Storm. They're followed next to the field by Is That It So and the Gunner Brady, the man from Manila and Clang Da Davio. In the booth, Dust is next to the field. It's a fastest judge's trail with two full circuits and 10 fences left to jump in this division two and a four-year-old maiden and a super lunar and kevin power who leads away from indigo island and old storm they're followed next by the gunner brady with the man from manila is that it so is next and they're followed by clan da diabio these are followed next to the field on the inside by in a blue dust with jay peck and captain carlton colin view and the great messenger is ready to get into the rear of the field and the descent for the first time the race downhill on towards fence number five and the super lunar who's in front super lunar of course the fourth fourth first time in askeaton and he's your leader from his second it is old storm in the Island is next with the gunner brady and the man from manila is that it so as they continue their descent roughly going to make their way to the point of departure and a swing into the back straight for this second of three times in a turn on towards a line of two fences fences number six and seven super lunar who's your leader now by two lengths from old storm who's in second they're followed next by a line of three horses which includes indigo island the gunner brady and a man from manila Glad to report that Willie Thompson is actually walking back from his first fence fall. So they make their way onto this fence, fence number six, and a super lunar from Old Storm and the Gunner Brady. They're followed next by Indigo Island back and forth. The man from Manila is next with Clown Dog de Abbeo, and is that it so? In the blue dust is behind these with Colin View and Captain Carlton, Jay Peck, and just ready to get it to rear. Best part of 10 is adrift now is Grey Messenger. To continue away on towards this next fence, fence number seven coming up, roughly the half sa halfway stage in this contest, and a super lunar from up and he's outside now as it comes to this is the gunner brady who's improved old storm is in third i made a slight mistake that we lost another one there at that fence just checking colors on that it was captain carlington and stephen burn was the father stevens but a rise to his feet so 11 remain in this division two contest and as it come uphill towards the fence it'll be the last of one circuit time is super lunar from the gunner brady these are followed next by Old Storm with the man from Manila Indigo Island and Clung Da De Abio. Is that it? So is next, and they're followed by Inner Blue Dust with Jay Peck and Colin. Five fences left to jump. And as you do so, Super Lunar from the Gunner Brady. They're followed next by Old Storm with the man from Manila and Indigo Island. They're followed next by Colin Da De Abio with Inner Blue Dust, and is that it? So Colin View and Jay Peck completes the field as still continuing the best part of 10 lengths, 15 lengths further back. It is the Grey Messenger. All over that fence, five from the finish, and about a turn right handed and on the descent. And race on now with just four fences left to jump, and a super lunar who's been prominent throughout now from the Gunner Brady in second. The man from Manila gets closer, and there's a follow by Indigo Island back and forth. All Storm blasts back to fifth, and a follow by Clan Da Diabio with Inner Blue Dust. And, a, and a, is that it? So they're followed next to the field by Jay Pick with Colin View and pulled up, in fact, before four out was the Grey Messenger. They're on the descent, and this makes the race down. Hill and a turn in will have just three fences left to jump and as they do so still super lunar is in front still traveling really well in the hands of Kevin Porter followed by the gunner Brady in second and from Manila tracks every mood of the two in front in third they're followed by Indigo Island in fourth while Somers in fifth and these are followed in sixth by Clanda Diabio and the blue dust Jay Pick and Colin View just begin to drop off them as they race on here with just three three out now to come two with a super lunar 
Got Rich in behind him now, queuing up as a gunner, Brady, and also the man from Manila. These are the one, two, three, and the guidelines back and forth. And they're followed next in the field by Clanda, the ABO Old Storm in a blue dust, and JPEG. Colin View was pulled up before three out, but the race on here quickly towards the fence is going to be two from the finish and Super Lunar is travelling strongly in front the man from Lena is just ridden for a few strides to try and close they stretch away from the gunner Brady in the blue dust in the guide and clown now Diabio saying on JPEG and the going to be pulled up before two it's going to be all storm to the second last to come to and the Super Lunar who's up and over from the man from Manila who's now got a challenge and up on the outside and is going to make a race of this after home bin and Corky goes to the front for the first time and the man from Manila the Shantou Galden just after home bin stretches on and goes two three clear and as they swing uphill with just one fence left to jump it's going to be the 13 and final fence it's the man from the Manila from Super Lunar back in second who can't give no more to the final fence they come and it is the man from Manila comes to it and it was dived it wasn't too clever but still kept the partnership intact and I don't know if towards the line it is the man from Manila the same connections of Manila for, for fitness two years ago take the vision two of the opener of the gospel sponsor four year old maiden Super Lunar wins the cracker back in second followed by Inner Blue Dust is going to take third fourth Later on, it's going to be JPEG, and they're followed. Fifth and sixth is going to be slipped between the pair. It's going to be Indigo Island and the Gunner Brady. That's all their finished pull. <laughs> Results of Division 2 of the first race, first number 42, second number 14.